going to do a quick little video here. I got about nine minutes of battery left. Uh, I built a mold that does multiple ingots. And these are primarily for people with kilns. So I freehanded this one, but in an earlier video I said that you can build a furnace out of anything. Well, I built the mold too big for my two furnaces I built. So I improvised and adapted and I built a little furnace just by stacking some bricks and that mold is back in there. And you can see by the glow that it is uh, definitely hot. The test course I did, I just showed the ingots as skin. This time I'm using 925 sterling silver, so I needed way more heat to do it. So I'm going to stop, save battery, and then we'll see what I got. You can see by the color of the mold, it's dying down now, but uh, it definitely, just by stacking up a bunch of fire bricks, I was able to achieve, I had my probe in there, and I was pulling about 1750 towards the top of the mold. Still got a little bit of a glow to it. Uh, I'll pause for now till I get the ingots out if they poured. Well, this is what I get for getting in a hurry because it had just started to melt the silver. It poured a couple of them. Needed more heat. You can see down towards the bottom it needed more heat. These are built for uh, pottery kilns or bigger furnaces. I built it too tall to go in my furnace because I wanted to get uh, a reasonable amount of, of pockets to pour but like I say with the tin it uh, I was able to get the heat with a propane torch to where here it'll do it get this put in a kiln to where the entire mold will get up to 1700 degrees but anyway just all it takes is a pile of bricks and anything else you can pile together to retain the heat and you've got yourself a, a little furnace. 